Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExecuteAutomation.com and welcome to our next season of Automation Framework Development with Selenium C Sharp. And in this video, I'll be talking about an introduction to Season 2. What are we going to discuss in this Season 2? Will this season really cover the missing areas or upgrades of an year-old course? That's the real thing. Of course, yes. We are going to cover some of the following uncovered topics and your frequently asked questions like upgrade to latest version of Selenium, Cucumber and IntelliJ because it's been a long time. We have not upgraded our course and working with different weight conditions because in our framework we have not covered some of the weighting statements. We were using thread.sleep and you guys have reported that as an issue. And that's the answer for this particular questions that you have. And working with Cucumber Data Table for multiple rows, because some of you raise a concern that you have only one row being covered, but not how to handle with multiple rows of the Cucumber Data Table report, which we have a custom Cucumber reporting options, which we have a custom Cucumber util option. So we're going to upgrade that and how to validate grid values in Selenium with an arrow function. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to understand the latest changes of Cucumber. And also, we were covering Cucumber reporting via Exit Automation reporting systems. But you have raised a concern of how to use the current framework to support the Cucumber HTML report, which we discussed in our basic course. So we're going to upgrade that. And also, we're going to integrate this complete framework with a Maven standard so that you can use the goals like maven clean maven compile maven verify and things of that nature so we are going to completely cover these things and apart from that we are also going to cover api testings because those were not covered in the course as well so it seems like the whole season two is in complete upgradations and the complete upgradation is really really important because the course has really have a basic framework to support the vast extensions that we're going to do right now all right, so let's quickly start everything in development and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to IntelliJ New Edition. 